Ooh, all right, just to keep it simple. This is a V60, as you can see, it's been through the ringer. The ringer packing? I've, I've, I've broken it and Ooh. glued it back. I mean, it's rough. It's rough, but it's got character. It's got history. It's got history, man. And I'm going to be making some Stone Creek coffee. Ooh. I have a lot of Stone Creek mugs, but I usually don't have a lot of coffee. The V60 is the most classic pour over. Like, it's kind of like the golden standard for pour overs, you know? Yeah. Someone's like, I'm going to have a pour over. You're like, oh, you're making a V60? Although, as stated in a previous podcast, not podcast, previous Whatever. video, um, ride the Cleta Wave. I think Cleta Wave is better. Mm. That's just where I'm at, man. I already warmed up this water, so I'm just going right. to wet this filter, get all that papery residue out of there. I usually do a ratio of about 14 grams of water to one gram of coffee. Coffee? Coffee? coffee. Get that coffee. 25 grams of coffee to make about 350 grams of water. I mean, not water, coffee. Mm -hmm. I got a new scale, by the way. Ooh, it's got a timer on the one side, which is going to be a big deal. For instrumental. Me. It's great. That's an instrumental instrument. Yeah. It looks cool, but sometimes you get a few loose beans. <laughs> grind it somewhere between a fine and a medium. Man, you know what? I, you know what you it is. It. I almost it. always want to buy myself. You're not gonna believe me, but you make the perfect the perfect. Beans. And I'm just like, no one's recording this. I don't even have time to take a picture. And then you sit, turn on this camera, and it's just shit. All right. See how this goes. I'm not great with the blooms these days. Like, see that? That's yes. not good. Like, it should have been, it should have hit the edge over here. But it is kind of, see how it's like blooming up there? I mean, it's not bad. It'll be fine. So, what I like about the, the Kalita Wave versus the V60 is the Kalita Wave has three, it's like a flat bed with three holes where it's coming through. So, it just comes out a lot more evenly. Whereas this is one hole. So it's just harder. It's like harder to get it consistent. And you have to like really like be careful with it. And it, like if you do it right, it's really good. But if you mess it up, it's like a bummer. Whereas the Kalita Wave is a lot like, the truth is it's just easier. It's like like a Kalita Wave versus a, a V60 pour over is like you go to the grocery store and buy a really nice steak as a Kalita Wave. And then for the pour over, it's like you have to kill the cow. <laughs> That might be a, not the perfect example in multiple ways, but I'm just gonna <laughs> roll with it. So, you get it to the 350, and you let it just down along the creek. I remembered something. You gotta talk to the coffee makes you. Give it some encouragement. No. <laughs> I sing the Bonnie Bear songs to it. Some way, baby, it's a part of me, a part from me. That line really resonates with me in regards to the Appalachian Trail. It's a part of me, apart from me. Mm. What a line. Just in general. Like, it's a part of me, apart from me. Justin <laughs> Vernon, man. All right. Dump it out. And you just pour it in there. You Solder brain. Yeah. All right, man. Bottoms up. Just kidding. You don't want to chug this. You gotta sip it. A lot of people like to slurp like this. I prefer to gurgle. It's hot. It's pretty good. Yeah, I didn't do it right. It's not great. But it's pretty good. I'm all about that clean away. 